Hey folks, Rob here. And uh, if you watched my last video, you know uh, the guys up at Bypass Pond had ordered me the 7.5 inch uh, Ruger Wrangler, the new one out for this year. The, uh, the I dubbed it the Calvary model. It's a 7.5 inch barrel. When I was up there, they had actually got this one in too. So this is also one of the new ones for this year. And uh, when I seen it, it's not the color I wanted, but after I got to thinking about it, I thought, well, I like this color, but uh, it's not my preferred one. I still have yet to get a silver one. So at some point, I'm going to get the six and a half inch in silver, and I ain't going to settle for it in any other color. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I went up there, done some trading. I actually traded a couple endoscopes for this, so I thought I'd done pretty good there. And uh, what we have here is the Ruger. Uh, this is the new uh, Sheriff's model that they just come out with. And, of course, in your box, for people who don't know, and or maybe this is their first gun, you will get your safety lock, and you will get your manual, and just some various different uh, literature in there. So, if you're new to guns, it's probably a good idea to uh, check that stuff out. And uh, But that's what's in the box. And let's put the box away. And inside the box, inside this plastic bag, is the gun itself. So let's set that aside. Because that's not something we need to look at. But we have the... This is the Sheriff's model. Uh, Ruger Wrangler. This is the burnt bronze with the, the black cylinder, black grips. And uh, this is... Uh, these are new for this year. Uh, and, uh, we're going to take this thing out and shoot it. First, we're going to pull our cylinder out and take our little safety flag out and reinstall our cylinder. Now, on this three and a three quarter inch version, your, your rod doesn't come out. It, it's captured in there. It, there's not enough room to get your rod out. So in order to get, take it out, you would have to take your, uh, gate off but that's not really a problem you really don't have to take that rod out uh, there's no reason to really take it out you can wipe it off right there uh, to clean it and uh, put it back together and it goes in snaps in locks in place the uh, action on these seems smoother than what the older ones were this is a 207 series so they started at 200 and they're up to the 207 prefix, which uh, means they've been producing these for quite a while. I will have to put some paint on that front sight. But you have your blade sight, three and three quarter inch, plow handle grip, black plastic. You have your metal injected molded. These are a Ruger Wrangler. Uh, just a different variation with a different grip frame than the bird's head they come out with last year. A lot of people don't like the bird's head. They like the more traditional plow handle grip. I, I personally like the bird's head, but I like this one too. So anyway, uh, that is a look at the, the Ruger Wrangler Sheriff's model and uh, three and three quarter inch barrel, 22 long rifle, new out this year. And uh, we're going to take this thing out and shoot it. The other one shot the M22s really well, grouped well with them. So I think we'll just... Uh, Take some M22s out and put it through this thing and uh, see how it does. And on a later date, we'll we'll test it with some different ammos. But for now, we'll just see how accurate it is with our M22s. So stay tuned, and we'll do some shooting. All right, we brought out our new Ruger Wrangler Sheriff's model. I have us two targets set up down there. This is 10 yards. And I'm going to be using my little uh, Hunt Pal rest here. This thing is really portable. This, this thing is so easy to grab and just grab and go. Uh, the big rest is a lot nicer. And if you're really, really, really wanting precision, that's the way to go. But just for coming out here quickly, it's cold. And uh, I think we got about 40 degrees right now. The sun is shining, so that's a, that's a plus. As long as the sun will keep shining, we, we should be all right. Uh, and... Uh, we're just going to take a couple shots with this and see how we do here. If I can get us set up. I did bring out some M22s. They shot really good in the other Wrangler. So we're going to try them in this one. And uh, 
see how this one shoots. I'm gonna get us out six rounds here. Now, I've, I haven't cleaned this gun. You see me take it straight out of the box. I probably should have cleaned it, but uh, I'm a little excited. So, <laughs> I'm like most people, get a new gun. They can't hardly wait. We'll, we'll give it a good cleaning, and I should have, but I didn't. Uh, guys, like I said, I am no firearms professional, so don't uh, listen to anything I have to say or copy anything I do. I do this strictly for entertainment and uh, to provide you guys with entertainment and let you have a look at uh, some of the new stuff that uh, comes out that I can get my hands on. Like I said, I did trade for this one. Trade a couple endoscopes. Uh, these are retailing just a little bit uh, north of 200, so they're not overly expensive. Uh, I'm gonna change out my glasses to my readers so maybe I can see the front sight. And, uh, Put on my hearing protection here. We're loaded up. And I got two targets set up down there. So I'm just going to take a few shots with this first one. And then uh, on the second batch, second six, I'll take you down there and uh, set you up on target and let you see how I'm shooting. So this will be the first shots through the Ruger Wrangler uh, Sheriff's model. Uh, this is a new gun for this year. I have seen no videos on this gun yet, so uh, especially this model or the, any of the models. So we're going to shoot at the left hand one first. I'm going to aim dead at the bullseye. Gun works pretty slick. And I think that was six. Yes, it was. So let's go down there and I'll let you look at what I just done. And then I'll set you up down there and let you see me shoot the, uh, the next six rounds at the right hand target. So keep watching and we'll go do that. So there was my first six shots. Uh, you can see there's three right there, four, five, six. So pretty good group for a three and three quarter inch barrel. I'm shooting just a little bit to the right, uh, but uh, not a bad group for a little short barrel gun. So let me set you up on this target and I'm gonna go back there and uh, we'll take some shots at that. And uh, you can watch and see how I hit. Well, you can see right there, not bad out of a little three and three quarter inch, two here, two here, and looks like the two I pulled a little high on. Not bad at all. All right, I'll go back there and we'll take a few shots uh, at the steel here, just to see how I can hit that. That's a, uh, should be no problem to hit that steel. We'll see how this is as a pleaker on steel. All right, I'm gonna shoot these standing up. Freehand. I don't know if I hit them or missed them. Might have been shooting too fast. Okay, I don't even know for sure that I hit that steel that first string of six. Little gun unloads easy. Kicks them right out. And you know, this is a brand new gun, so that uh, I only expect those groups to get tighter as it uh, breaks in. Uh, 
this so far, I'm liking it. This one kind of looks a little sparkly out here in the sunlight, that finish. I noticed the, uh, the finish on them is better than the, uh, than the first series. Uh, and the fit, the finish is better. The fit fits better. I think Ruger is slowly making some improvements to these guns. You know, Ruger's a top-notch company to produce a gun that has a, oh, a reputation for inaccuracy is not something I'd think they'd want to maintain. So, uh, hopefully they're working on the, uh, the accuracy issues with the, uh, with the, uh, the Wranglers and the newer ones coming out are more accurate. I know for a fact that the seven and a half inch is, and this is more accurate than uh, any one I've had yet. So I'm gonna take six more shots down there. Just give you one more last look, and then we'll we'll finish this up. Uh, I'm gonna shoot down there at that. Heck, I don't need that to shoot steel with. Surely I can hit that big piece of steel. Although that first round, like I said, I don't know if I hit it or not. I was kind of rushing. Ouch. Damn it. Well, don't do that. I stuck my finger in there and pinched my finger. Round didn't go either. <laughs> I think it's this one. I usually lay my thumb up there on that. I got it too close. Caught my thumb in there. Kept it from shooting. And pinched my thumb. Never had that happen before. Anyway, guys. There is a look at the Ruger Wrangler, uh, Sheriff's model, 3.75 inch barrel, cold hammer forged, uh, plow handle grip. This would make a nice little little carry gun. Put this in a little uh, holster. This would make a nice little four wheeling gun, backpacking gun. Seems uh, so far accurate enough. We'll put some more rounds to it, do some ammo testing. But uh, anyway guys, there it is. Hope y'all enjoy the video. And uh, until we do another one, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.